Martin Tyler here with you as usual and delighted to have the company of Alan Smith. Thank you, Martin. It's a pleasure to be here. And today our match is Burton Albion against Aston Villa. Well, we're here today to watch the champions with the title already sealed. Nice and relaxed. Oh, yeah. It's the perfect scenario for these boys. They've already been out celebrating, so it might not be the best performance here. Well, this is how the home team shape up. Ben Turner starts. Despite looking shaky in recent games, they've got plenty of goal threat with two strikers in the attack. The Aston Villa team for this game. Michael Richards starts with Nathan Baker as the centre-backs. Mila Yedinak starts with Gary Gardner in the middle. And today, it's just the one striker in the side. Aston Villa, they're playing well at the moment. They certainly played well last time out in their home victory against the Queen's Park Rangers. They had finished 1-0. It was quite a, a close run affair. But I think they are capable of following up with another win today. Andy Woolmer is the man with the whistle today. So here we go, we're underway here. Palmer. Chowdhury. There's good progress with this attack. Naylor, crisp defending there. That attack was looking good. Now the opposition have a chance. There's a chance for a double for the team that are the visiting team today. Had a good win against this side that they're visiting in the uh, other match between the two clubs earlier in the season. But I'm sure the hosts are really determined to... Uh, uh, get some revenge. Yeah, I'm sure they are. They should be because they didn't play well in that earlier game. But great chance here for the visitors to take six points off the, their opponents. Leandro Bakuna, Gary Gardner. Goal news from Fulham, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Ipswich Town. 11 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. Look how quick he reacted. Micah Richards. Jordan Ayew. Gary Gardner. Into the attacking third. This is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening. Well, good through ball. Penalty! Another twist to the storyline here. A penalty, and they could now go behind. Well, it's been a tight game, not much to choose, but a bit of a gift there. Good penalty. Well, they were going to take him off penalties, but he's taken this one and scored. Yeah, I think some people are cut out for it. Some aren't, and this lad certainly is.
So the first goal, it's 1-0. Ball for Aston Villa, number 10, Jordan Ayew. Chowdhury. That's cut out. He's coming forward with some danger. Well, this is how this team can play sustained attacking football. But when they lose it, as they've done now, it's just a risk that they might get caught out. Naylor. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Shot's on! The shot gets blocked. And that'll be a throw. Can go back to the goalkeeper here and does. Turner. Naylor. One, two, and having a little game of their own here. Here, the challenge is a good one. Cleared the ball. And it's going to be his throw here. team have won their last five games but uh, on this ground against this opposition to make it six is going to be a test it will be but this is a team that tends to to keep the ball and it tends to take the sting out of a situation so that's what's helped them this year strong challenge Here's a chance to attack. He's going to try his luck. He's got his shot off now. Oh, what a fine goal. They lead by two now. They'll feel a little bit more comfortable. And they're good value for this advantage at the moment. Well, here's the goal for Aston Villa. Well, talk about luck. The keeper makes a good save, but straight into the path of the attacker. Restarting at 2-0. Goal for Aston Villa, number 10, Palmer. Jordan Ayew. On to the attack now. The has Three minutes, the that's what's minutes. going to be played for added time. added time. Jordan Ayew. It comes out off the goalkeeper. An opening back. Going for Gardner. Should be. It's a goal. Well, good finish, no doubt, Martin. But what about the play before that? What about the passing? Wonderful team effort. As for Aston Villa, that should really wrap it up. They played well today. And the latest goal confirms their victory, you would think. You don't always get what you deserve, but I think Villa have here.
So they've widened the margin now. 3-0 they lead. Villa, number 37, the referee has signaled for half-time. 3-0 is the scoreline at this point. A brilliant first half from this fella. On top of his game out there, and I'm sure he'll be thinking about grabbing his hat-trick in the second half. really was a very one-sided first half and the team on the wrong end of that scoreline has got to show a bit of backbone now could be dangerous Gary Gardner just lent the ball to his mate and got it back again shots on here well in the clear and he's made a total hash of it just panicked I think he lost his nerve at the vital moment Jordan Ayew attacking well here Really trying to use the full width of the pitch here. Here's a chance. Hit the post. Gary Gardner. Naylor. Oh, it could be dangerous. And shoots. And he's put it in for the goal. Well, he's always been a defender with an eye for goal, Alan. He's got another one. Yeah, he's one of those defenders that when he goes forward, you always fancy him to get on the end of something. He's done brilliantly there. It's turning out to be a, a comfortable game. There's 4-0. Palmer. Jordan Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Home team ready to make a change. Good through pass. Jordan Ayew. Westwood. Ref blows for the free kick. Oh, yellow card, Alan. Yeah, quite right. Sliding in and uh, taking his part in the game into uh, uh, a dangerous territory, really. Well, it is. He saw the ball and he thought he could win it, but just as fraction off. And now the goalkeeper can maybe think about starting an attack. Quick header, found a teammate. It was good progress with this attack. Aston Villa going to make a change here. McCormack probing away, trying to find room for a shot, maybe. The shot's on! Very good stop here. Corner for Aston Villa. Richards. It is corner after corner. Yeah. 
trying to find a way through here, probing away. A timely challenge. Westwood. Promising build-up until that challenge. Aston Villa's next game, Alan, what about that? They're playing Reading in their next match in the Championship. I can see only one winner. I think they'll find it pretty easy. Time ticking on. Just over 15 minutes to go. He's known as a fine passer of a football and he's right on his game today. Comes in strongly. A return ball. Palmer. These two have got a great understanding with their passing. We've got eight more minutes of the 90. Palmer. Chowdhury. Palmer. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. It was nicely worked until that point when it broke down. And now they've got to try and regain possession. Westwood. Not often you get at this level a game as one-sided as this. It's great for the team with all the goals, but the others just waiting for the final whistle. It's uh, damage limitation in these closing minutes. Chowdhury. Good chunk of added time here. Three minutes. That's a great interception. Three blows Aston Villa, the winners today. Well, we've seen a game here, Alan, where one team has had the ball and the other team hasn't. Yeah, there was, uh, there was a golfing class out there today, which was surprising given the two sets of players. I wasn't expecting it. What a brilliant performance from this fella. Well, so often we think of his creative abilities, but a couple of goals here have won the match for his team. English Football League Champions.